نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم أما بعد Honorable guests and respected parents Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh I, Sumayya La Reb, a student of class 8 at Jibreel International School express my love and thanks to my father Habibur Rahman and my mother Shagufta Halim and I'm proud to have them as my parents. I feel immensely blessed to have got this rare opportunity of addressing a galaxy of worthy audience this afternoon at our school function Tajalli 2014. The theme for this year, as has already been told to you, is national integration. And it's a privilege on my part to share a few words with you. I seek your blessings and patience as I attempt to speak before you. My country, in thy days of glory past, a beauteous halo circled round thy brow and worshipped as a deity thou wast. Where is that glory? Where that reverence now? These were the famous lines from De Rosio's To India, My Native Land, composed way back in 1920s when India suffered under the British regime. Today, we are an independent nation and have come a long 67 years away after India attained independence from the British Raj against the background of communal disharmony of partition that the departing British bequeathed to us. Despite the challenges of pluralism, multi-ethnic divides and the schisms of caste compounded by post-independence dangers, namely extremism, separatism and terrorism. We have largely been successful in holding on to our political freedom and the democratic values enshrined in our constitution standing out and being globally recognized as the most successful secular democracy in the non-Western world. Despite this impressive record, a multitude of divisive forces are creating fault lines in the very fabric that binds our nation. The rampant violence and mayhem sweeping across many areas in the country has divided the country and communal lines with Assam recording clashes between Bodos and Muslims, Karnatak recording 222 incidents of communal violence, UB recording 250 incidents of communal violence, Gujarat recording similar figures and who can forget the gruesome riots in Muzaffarnagar. One can easily estimate the disintegration that the country has suffered. With the Bodo seeking a separate Bodo land, Gorkha seeking Gorkha land, demand for Telangana at the verge of being materialized. Unity in diversity remains a thing of the past. Inimical external forces and misguided anti-social elements within the country have dampened the spirit of national integration so much that we hear the words of De Rosio's query, where is that glory? Where that reverence now? Reverberating even after 67 years of independence, yet we claim to be the successors of a rich cultural heritage, proudly exclaim ourselves as a part of a unique culture embracing in diversities of caste, languages, and religions, and unanimously proclaim, united we stand, divided we fall. Indeed, India is a land of contrast, a unique culture, amalgamating diverse facets of lifestyle from all over the world into a single culture, the Indian identity. Thus, it is quite clear that national integration becomes all the more relevant in the Indian context 
because of difficulties experienced in harmonizing a democratic secularist policy with such a colorful vibrant culture national integration finds its expression through the feeling of oneness common identity national patriotism and a sense of loyalty towards our nation we the muslims have been a part of this nation for ages in fact we have been right at the heart of it we have lived together in times of adversities we have shared its success and glory together yet when it comes to loyalty it has always been in question today from this dais i proclaim that i'm proud to be an indian and i love my country as much as anybody else does and for those who may still quote me wrongly i am a muslim and my religion my faith doesn't stop me from being loyal to my nation no this my conscience regret ever for loving my nation let those who have wrongly interpreted our stance educate themselves and reconstruct their perceptions about us and know that we were we are and we will ever be there for india coming back again we must remember that national integration is a strong cementing force whereby all kinds of people live together peacefully and can identify themselves as a part of a single whole we belong to india india is ours is the feeling which constitutes the very basis of national integration we must forget all differences and strive together to take india to its zenith of success to make living a pleasure for all to make india a nation whose vision was presented by rabindranath tagore in his famous lyric where the mind is without fear and the head is held high where knowledge is free where the world has not been broken up into fragments by narrow domestic walls where words come out from the depth of truth where tireless striving stretches its arms towards perfection where the clear stream of reason has not lost its way into the dreary desert sand of dead habit where the mind is led forward by thee into ever widening thought and action into that heaven of freedom my father let my country awake jazakallahu wassalamu alaykum wa rahmatullah